Blog Talk Radio. There's only one Lord, yes. one faith, Amen. and one baptism. Amen. And that Lord is Jesus. Yes. The Bible says He is the Lord of all. Yes. Again, yes. I am Jesus only. Yes. Yes. Uh, I want to take my text from John, the uh, first chapter. Yes. And uh, y'all pray with me a little while. Amen. A brief message, but an important message. Sometimes we seem to get discouraged because it seems that our labor is in vain. But the Word of God has prophesied and foretold that in the latter days only a few would make it in to be saved. We have to make sure we are part of that few. And we also have to be aware that our light that shineth in darkness can be seen by someone who's seeking after yes. the light. Yes. Amen. Now, yes. light means knowledge or understanding yes. from those who do not have a perception of what is right and what is wrong. Yes. 
For the Bible says in John's Gospel, the first chapter, the light shineth in darkness, but the darkness comprehended it not. Which means truth came to the people, but the multitudes would not accept the truth. I want to take my main text from uh, uh, verse 5. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. The, the same came for a witness, to bear witness of that knowledge. Uh -huh. That all men through him might believe. He was not that light. He was not the light. But was sent to bear witness. But of he that represented light. that light. Yes. Right, watch now. That was the true light, which lighted every man that cometh into the world. The true light, or the knowledge of God, that every man that is born of woman must come into if that man is to be saved. We have to fully understand now. John was not the light. But John came to bear witness of that light. Jesus came, but he's back in glory. We today represent that light. If we hide the light or the knowledge of God from the people, then the people will never be able to find their way out of darkness into a safety place, a place where it is protected by the word of God. Church is a place of protection. But the church proper is simply a building. But in order for the building to be a proper place, that church must be sanctified by people. Amen. It's the sanctified people that make the building proper. Amen. So we have to fully understand, brothers and sisters, our importance of our job and the calling on our life. And we have to, again, learn how to pick up our cross and follow Amen. after God. Amen. We've got to learn how to claim our blessings. Yes. Amen. The elder testified this morning, he's going to take his blessings. He's not going to let the devil take his blessings from him. He's going to take his blessings. God gave us the victory. But what we have to do is be willing to stand up and fight for that victory. Yes. We are beset by the atmosphere of total blasphemy and rejection of God. Amen. Uh, give me 1 Timothy chapter 6. I'm going to kind of uh, digress a little bit. I want you to fully understand where I'm going this morning. I want you to pick right up in verse 1. Yes. That as many servants as are under the yoke count their own men. Everyone is saved or who is saved is under a guidance. Yes. Yoke is something as I foretold you that they place on the oxen or the beast of burden to guide him. He, he can't be guided without the yoke. And he can't pull no plow without the yoke. So the yoke means a, a, a semblance of something that guides a people. We are servants of God. Therefore, the yoke that God places upon us guides us through the knowledge of the truth yes. that we can go in the way that God directs us to go. Yes. Now, we have to fully understand, and I believe Jesus said, take my yoke upon you yes. and learn of me. Oh, oh, hallelujah. Yes. And learn of me. Yes. For my yoke is easy. easy. In other words, it's not uh, difficult to learn of God yes. if you've got a mind to serve God. Right. Hallelujah. Yes. Verse 3. Verse 3. <laughs> if any man teach otherwise and consent not to wholesome If words, anybody teach you something different than what I'm teaching you, all right. He's not teaching you whole right, words. Right, right. Leave away from that man. Yes. Hallelujah. God never had but one representative of Hallelujah. the truth. Yes. And the confusion in Christianity today. And I say that without reservation. Teach it's because you got too many trying to teach the truth. Yes. And they don't have yes. the truth in there. Yes. Thereby you got a church of God, a church of God in Christ, a church of uh, the Latter-day Saints, and a church of this, and a church of that. You got all these churches reading the same Bible. But they don't serve the same God and the same spirit of truth. Amen. Because first of all, they don't even know who God is. Yeah. God is manifest in the flesh, the Bible says. When the light came, the light came as a human being. He was a physical being. But when he went back to glory, hallelujah, he left his spirit. Yeah. But the spirit must be in one in the individual who's seeking after God. Hallelujah. But the individual can't teach himself even though he got the spirit. Somebody got to be spirit led to speak, speak to the people who want to be spiritually guided. Yeah, yeah. And one spirit bears witness of the other spirit, yeah. and together they reflect the same spirit, oh, the eternal spirit, God. which is Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. So you've got to understand, brothers, you've got to be in one accord. 
He's got to keep 